Howdy, how y'all doing? This is George the First Rambler. I'm hoping you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we're at Coco Cay. Yeah, to do a snorkeling adventure on the beach. So do me a favor, come join me. Heading into Coco Cay on the Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. Seeing a beautiful sunrise. Having some breakfast at Johnny Rockets before heading off to shore. Checking what port we were at and getting off the ship. Getting ready for that perfect day at Coco Cay, we now had to find our beach spot so we could plan our snorkeling and our activities throughout the day. Next, we had to figure out the best places to snorkel here on the island. Yeah, to see the best fish. Well, this map just might help. This map is showing that the good snorkeling area, well, at least the one they have roped off, is in the chill island area. What I'm showing here, in the red is where they have it buoyed off where you can snorkel or even do some swimming. And I've also put the locations of the floating docks. Those are fun to go up to and sit on and take a few minutes to rest. Now, there's two things you just might want to know. First, they don't let you swim up to that plane wreck that's shown on the map. Well, at least the day that we were there. And second, there's a simulated concrete pirate ship wreck. Yeah, you can snorkel to just off the second floating dock from the left. There's cannons to explore, a lot of fish to see. Plus, just off this wreck, we saw some stingrays just swimming around. Heading left onto Chill Island from that sign, you're going to see some restrooms to the left and there's some showers on the back of that. Now, if you're renting your snorkel gear from Royal Caribbean, you're gonna go a little bit more forward down towards the beach. You will find the snorkel shack, not the love shack, the snorkel shack to the left as you're heading down to the beach. Picking up your snorkel equipment here at the Snorkel Shack, you will enjoy a fun-filled day of snorkeling well, at your leisure. You'll see stunning tropical fish, maybe, and a rare marine life, such as stingrays, as you explore a unique underwater paradise. Yeah, that's the day that we had. Before jumping into the water, we went ahead and checked out the snorkel area and find out what our limitations might be. We also checked out the swimming conditions or the tide conditions to make sure it's safe. Right now it's a yellow day. One step to a red day. Snorkeling on Coco Cay on a windy day. We're ready to go. Starting off in the swimming area, it's a little bit murky. The water is warm, it's quite nice. And we hope if we go a little bit deeper, we'll get some clear water. But it is a windy day today, so yeah, maybe not. These sergeant majors, they're our welcoming committee. They're gonna come right up to you and beg for some food. During your swim, you're gonna swim around some rock wave breaks. There's a lot of sea life to see there. It's a snorkeling spot that your kids will really enjoy you'll see a variety of tropical fish. And if you're lucky, you just might see a queen trigger fish, maybe a doctor surgeon fish, or even a mutton snapper. Yeah, those are pretty large. They can grow to about three feet in length and they can weigh 15 pounds. Would you like to catch one of those? We were surprised on the lack of mollusk in this area, though we did see some of these queen conks. Also lacking in this snorkeling area was any of the soft sponges. Yeah, didn't see any, except for some little tiny ones along the rocks. The majority of the snorkeling area was full of seagrass. Now that's interesting in itself, but no turtles today. But swimming along, you'll come up to a variety of snappers, sea basses, damselfishes, and even a few pipefish here and there. Of course, you're gonna find a lot of blue head rafts around here. Oh look, a putting white fish just swam by. Anytime I see a blue head wrasse, I always think of an aquarium. Yeah, these are just cool looking fish. Terry, she's just putting around, looking down some doctor fish, mixed in with all the seagrass. Then Terry points out to me some southern stingrays. Here's a highlight of our trip. For a bit of trivia, the southern stingray is a moderately sized whiptail stingray native to the western Atlantic Ocean. Unlike the spotted eagle rays, the southern stingray spends much of its time in contact with the seafloor, 
often buried in soft sediment with only its large eyes protruding out of the sand. Now Terry, she's in hunt for any great creatures to go see. But again, she found some more rays. Yeah, we got to see four different rays on our swim. Of course, I was keeping my eyes out for varieties of fish I have never seen before. For example, this Porgy fish. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Georgie Porgy. It kind of rhymes with my name. Swimming along, you're going to see schools of surgeon fish like blue tang, doctor fish, and even that ocean or Atlantic surgeon fish. Yeah, there's a plenty to be seen. If you find a school of these surgeon fish, swim with them. Be one with the fishes. There are several floating docks here that can jump on and take a rest. And of course, the second to the left, when you get back into the water, you can find a great shipwreck. Getting on these floating docks isn't the easiest, at least with your flippers on. But once you get on board, you get a seaside view of the great ship that you came on. In this case, the Harmony of the Sea. When you're all rested up, hop back in. We have a shipwreck to go explore. A word to the wise, as you get up to the sea wreck, you'll see some red corals. Now be careful, because contacting red coral usually causes a burning sensation that might last several hours. There's often skin rash which tend to appear minutes or even hours after the contact. Many years ago, I touched the red coral on this piece and it burnt the crap out of my hand. So just be careful. As this fish comes up to attack us, look to the left there. There's a donkey dung sea cucumber. Yeah, donkey dung. We found three parts of the ship, the bow, the gun deck or the gunnel, and part of the quarter deck. We just swam around till we found each of the pieces. Let's take a few minutes and just look at what we had found. Snorkel up to each of the ship parts. Imagine you're a treasure hunter and the treasures are the colorful fish that surround you. Also, take time to immerse yourself into this artwork or statue that Coco K has provided for us to swim around. It's just something fun to do. I'm directing the commanding officer of HMS Victory to fire a rolling broadside. And I invite him and his gun crew to make ready. Down she goes, heading to Davy Jones' locker. Following this mutton snapper back towards the shoreline, we realized it was time to go. We were getting kind of hungry and there was lunch waiting for us. There were still a few visual treats on our way in to the shore. One of those is this Caribbean cushion sea star. What a beauty! On our way in, we pass these wonderful Nassau groupers just nibbling away. Just reminding us we need to go eat. And then, I stopped and befriended this orange spotted filefish. He seemed to enjoy my company. He was displaying his unique beauty and showing off his wonderful underwater home. Thank you for letting us into your world. Sadly to say, we're back to land with the hustle and bustle of Coco Cay. 
rinsing off the salt and sand, it is time to get a nice, refreshing, famous Bahama Mama from the Wacky Seagull Bar. This will be a refreshing treat as we head off to Chill Grill for lunch. A stacked hamburger or hot dog? I'll go for that. Oh, fine. We're just having our lunch here at Coco Key. What are you doing? Good one. Ever hear about pier runners? Well, here they are. And we need to head back to the ship. Bye-bye, Jake, -bye, everybody. Wow, that's already been a fun adventure today. You know, sitting here at Coco Cay, doing some snorkeling. Yeah, it was really enjoyable. You know what? Thank you for joining us on this adventure. We need to head back to the ship right now. So in this case, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that notification bell. Give me two thumbs up, because this is George, the Fiddler's Rambler. Want to jump back in the water again, signing off.